Well, firefighter training is underway in Lafayette and it is getting heated. Well, we took you through basic skills training in August and now the class is adding a blazing fire to the mix. News 18's Kayla Sullivan was there for the live burn training. She uh, was where some of the students, uh, was, uh, and she joins us now with more on, on the story. Kayla? Yes, actually students and their families attended this uh, live burn training and as you can imagine it was a little nerve-wracking for spectators, but I'm not sure anyone was more nervous than me. I went inside the burning building to watch their training get put to the test. Say hello to reality, aspiring firefighters. You gotta be focused, know what you're doing. Communication is key. Seven different groups, all with separate tasks. I was on the nozzle. And a common goal. Put the fire out. Save lives. They practiced on controlled fires and dummies, which was a relief to me. I didn't have to be rescued out of there, so that was good. When you hear that sound, it means you're running out of air and you better get out. The scariest part for me was trusting that my mask, my oxygen was going to work. But I was only watching. You use up a lot more oxygen when you're physically battling a blaze. What was the most challenging part? I would say the hose drag. Trying to drag the charged line around those corners and up the stairs and everything, it's pretty tough. Skyler Reed's parents witnessed from outside. Very scary, but he's grown up to be a man. He's following his dreams, and so I'm proud to watch him do it. It made Cody Miller's girlfriend a little nervous, but he was happy she was there along with some family members. It puts a smile on my face. It's um, I'm glad they are supporting me. I, I know it's. It's kind of a hard job to support someone in because it's, it's dangerous. As long as he comes home after. <laughs> Reed is used to that feeling. My husband is a firefighter. He was a combat firefighter in Iraq. Watching her son risk his life too isn't easy, but there's one thing that makes it all worth it. Seeing the happiness in his eyes. Courtney Edgison agrees. Even though it makes me nervous, it's what he loves to do and I don't know, I'm excited for him. We'll be seeing support from family and friends again as we cover graduation next month. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.